So you made it back to the castle and decided you weren't going to betray Kuro. But this pissed off your old man, and now he's trying to whoop you like a belligerent child. And you just can't take it. He's throwing firecrackers in your eyes, he's stopping you from healing, he's doing flippy slashes. It's a whole lot of bullshit, and it's just too much. But that's okay. Even though you don't think you can beat it, I know you can. I'm here to show you how. Welcome to Get Good Guide for Great Shinobi Owl. So going into this boss fight, there's a couple things you're going to want, but we're not going to actually be using our prosthetic tools at all. While you could use the flame vent to get in some chip damage on his health, you're going to be a lot better off focusing on combat and using your combat arts. And to that extent, we're going to be working with the Itchy Munchy Double. This is a very much invaluable move when it comes to fighting human opponents, as it's going to regain your posture and do some nice bonks. As for phase two, we're going to mix things up and use Mortal Draw. You should all have Mortal Draw, because to get to this point, you have to have the Mortal Blade. The last thing I would suggest doing is having the Ceremonial Tonto. Pop that before this fight and heal your health back up, because you're going to want those extra Spirit Emblems for Mortal Draw uses. So while there's no Perilous attacks, there are a couple things worth mentioning. The first is a Firecracker attack, which you should lead back to avoid. Moving on from there, the boss will toss out anti-healing bombs. You can avoid these by just walking away. And then he also does a smoke bomb in phase two, which you should jump backwards when you see it and relock on. In phase one, he'll do a kick flip into a shuriken, which you can deflect, but in phase two, it changes to poison, so be sure to leap back to avoid it. Lastly, if you get posture broken in this fight, he'll attempt to do a stomp attack and then stab you. Make sure you roll away before that stomp lands. As for getting in damage in this fight, very similar to the Ishin encounter, we're going to be hitting it from the back. He's going to do a double shuriken into a flip slash, and you can walk behind him if you're close enough. Alternatively, you want to dodge, and you're always going to follow this up with the double Ichi Munchie. Keep a close eye on when I time my dodge here. Slowing it down a little bit more, you can see it's right when I start to see his face again that I execute the dodge. In phase two, we're going to be doing the same thing, but using Mortal Blade instead of double Ichi Munchie to go for direct health damage. Now that we've gone through everything this boss has in store, it's time to whoop this old man and put him into a nursing home. As a reminder, before the fight, jump out onto the roof and pop your Tonto for some extra emblems. You can do this in the fight as well, after you've used those first five, but taking that much health out of your bar in the middle of a boss fight is always kind of a risky move. In terms of tempo, this fight's going to be very similar to what we have with Kenichi or Lady Butterfly. It's going to be all about aggression, especially in Phase 1 where we're looking for a posture kill. We want to be aiming to get perfect deflects off and doing counter hits. The way to tell is a normal deflect versus a perfect, as you saw right there. You hear a clang versus just like a, a dull sound. And on top of that, on a perfect deflect, you'll notice that there's a bit of a, uh, almost a circular pattern that comes off, off of the deflect. As you saw right there, we ended up getting a counter attack and that negated out his healing bomb. And to do it very quickly, it's just going to be uh, L1, R1. Very fast. You can see, just keeping up this aggression, but we are keeping a little bit of distance here. And that's because as long as we're kind of about a meter or two away, he'll kind of go through his rotation, and then he's pretty likely to end up using his 1-2 uh, his flip move. Which is what we want, because that's how we're executing our Itchy Munji. In general, you can try to get in some damage during the heal, but it's gonna, or the anti heal, but it'll be a little bit risky just because uh, there's always the chance of getting caught. As for when you should heal yourself, uh, the two best times are gonna be either after his flip or when he actually does his anti heal. So, just to showcase those, let me get him to do a, do a big heal here. Oh, hang on. Come on do your bomb. Is that stomp attack he likes to do. You can back up and usually get off a heal while that aura is going. Or alternatively, it's basically the same time that I'm using Ichimunji when he does his flip attack. That's another phase one. So he might bow down here. If he doesn't, no worries. Sometimes he bows down and goes through an animation. Uh, if he doesn't do that, don't worry about it. Just pull out your mortal draw. 
Um, you can pop Akko's Sugar here as well, but similar to how I was just discussing heals, you want to make sure it's a clean opportunity so you're not just getting hit in the face trying to do it. You can also use Mortal Draw from the front. It's just a little bit safer from behind because there is very tight distancing to execute that. From the back, you just go to town with it. Counter hits need to be very quick. If you're trying to do the counter hits that you see me doing, if you wait too long, you'll just end up trading and taking damage to your health, and then it's just a slippery slope from there. If you do end up getting caught in a combo, it's not the end of the world. By this point in the game, you should have three reses. You can try and do Mortal Blade during that attack, but honestly I think it's easier to just wait for that and then go to town with it. As long as you're kind of maintaining this uh, like 2 meter distance as I mentioned, he's pretty likely to do it a lot. Just gotta remember that these bosses are AI. All of their moves are programmed. You can interrupt his poise game with the shuriken if you want, but it's not necessary. another one. You can see, even though it's a little bit weaker, the Mortal Blade will still take him out when you don't have Spirit Emblems. With that, the old man is down, and you are the Shinobi Master. So, thanks for coming on by. Hope you guys enjoyed the Get Good Guide to Great Shinobi Owl. Uh, as for what's up next, we'll probably be tackling the True Monk, um, and then from there, of course, I'll also be tackling Owl Father, Demon of Hatred, Sword Saint Ishin, all that stuff that people keep asking about. Um, probably the only memory bosses I'm, I'm not going to be tackling are the uh, Holding Screen Monkeys and then the Divine Dragon, because those are both gimmick fights, and if you can't get through them, then I don't know how you made it that far in the game, to be frank. But either way, guys, thanks for coming by, as always, and I'll see you soon enough with another Get Good Guide.